good morning, you guys. Except it's not morning. It is 12, 15 p.m. We are still in bed. And we have to get ready. Woo! Because we have a nursing pharmacology lecture at 1 p.m. Ooh, oh my gosh. I'm so tired, you guys. So the reason I slept in until noon today is this evening we are working a 12-hour night shift in the ER from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. because I am crazy and accelerated nursing school isn't hard enough. I also work as a night shift ER tech, but we need to get out of bed. I still got pimple patches all over my face and we need to get ready for the day. I do feel a little extra exhausted because, oh wow, that sucked out a lot of juice. Oh dear. I am on my period, hence all the pimple patches. We are breaking out pretty bad. So I should have gotten up just a little bit earlier because I want to eat before my three hour lecture, but I don't have time to eat at home. So I'm going to be making some food to go. I think I'm going to make a protein shake and a bagel. So the shake is super simple. It's whatever protein powder you've got on hand and some fruit. And then I like to do almond milk. I think water makes your shake kind of runny. So my bagel is toasting right now, but I wanted to be really honest with you guys. I am now in kind of a bad mood and feel very insecure. When I took my pimple patches off, I didn't realize how bad this breakout was. But what makes me upset is that I know that this breakout is going to scar. And that's the one thing about having dark skin is like your acne isn't just there while well, it's an active breakout. It'll leave these scars behind. And I'm just not excited for that. And now I feel super insecure about my face. So I just wanted to share that because I don't think a lot of people tell you when they feel insecure on the internet, we always put our best foot forward. So I have days where I don't feel good, but I'm just gonna really focus on making sure I'm putting good products on my face and trying to do my best. So like, I'm not gonna cover it up with makeup. Um, and I'm gonna wear a sunscreen to make sure it doesn't get too much darker. But I gotta make this bagel because now I'm starting to run late. I'm just packing my bag up, got my bagel. Gonna bring an Alani because I know I will probably hit a slum. All right, to keep the Alani cold, we are gonna put it, her in the Yeti. I got my water bottle in here, my iPad. All right, I will see you guys after class. It is a beautiful day, but it is windy outside. Class went really well. Usually on Thursdays, she spends half the time lecturing and then the second half of, half of class, we do like an in-class activity, which is really nice because it's hard to be lectured at for three hours. Um, it's 3.53 right now. I act, we actually got out of class 20 minutes early. I think I wanna head to the gym and just do like easy 30 minute cardio on the treadmills because I do feel really tired and I don't wanna exhaust myself too much before work. 
Hello vlog. I am back from the gym. Torin is here. I've eaten lunch and now I'm packing my overnight food, but I forgot I'm actually TikTok vlogging. So if you really like me, number one, thumbs up this video. It really, really supports my channel, helps push the content out to new viewers and helps support me so I can make more videos like this because this is my hobby, takes a lot of time away from nursing school and whatnot. If you really, really, really like me, then you'll go follow me on TikTok because I post a new video every single day. So I am YouTube vlogging this day and TikTok vlogging. So typically the food I like to pack for work, I like to pack one main meal. So tonight I have chili and then I like to pack a lot of, and then I like, <laughs> and then I like to pack a lot of snacks. Um, that way, if I'm just sitting at the nurse's station or something, I can quickly eat if I don't have time to have like a full meal. And then I do have a protein shake in there, which is good. That way I can like drink it. It's got like carbs, protein, keeps me full for a little bit. Is what other loud shit do you have to do right now? Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> all. God, we are chaotic uh, as fuck. Has this been in your guys' way the whole time? Sorry. to be on time and it is 608 and I still got the gym on me so I will see you all after the shower all right just showered super quick did some skincare because oh my god you guys my breakouts are so bad right now I'm not sure if I told you guys on my way home from the gym I stopped at Panera and got a charged lemonade absolutely love those because I haven't had enough caffeine today um, we've got the iPad. We, oh, Torn, will you do me a favor? Can you go into the bedroom and grab the iPad charger, please? It's the, the white one. Thank you. I'm just like going through a checklist and, oh, my badge. All right, we got the badge. I'm gonna put it in my pocket because, oh my God. Did you see that? No. All right, I'm just trying to like drop shit. I think they're, I'm like overstimulated you guys because I'm trying to do two vlogs at once. But we're not running late, so that's good. It's exactly 6.30 and I'm somehow getting all of this done while vlogging at the same time. I don't really know how. Um, for footwear tonight, we are going with the Crocs. I have a video up on my channel about my favorite shoes for work if you guys are interested. But okay, so we've got watch, badge. Do we have AirPods? AirPods. I'm gonna bring this camera, iPad, laptop, both chargers for the iPad and the laptop. And then I've got, okay. I think we're good. Ready, babe? Yeah. We survived shift number one. And I'm just eating a little snack before I go to bed. So last night I was in pediatric triage and it was actually a really good night. It The night went really fast. Like I only felt like I was at work for maybe three or four hours. Did it feel like I was only gone for three or four hours? So a lot of kids coming in with cold flu symptoms, shortness of breath, increase work of breathing. So if you're planning on working in the ER 
or you're a nursing student right now and you want to know how to prep for clinicals or stuff like that, I would definitely recommend knowing your vital signs for each age group. And maybe I'll put like a little thing on the screen, um, what vital signs you should know, and then know how to do like an in-depth respiratory assessment, know how to identify retractions, and then be very confident at counting respirations. So for infants, like anyone less than a year old, I count respirations for the entire 60 seconds just because infants breathe very erratically. And so it's hard to just estimate their respirations. And then retractions, I'm gonna be honest, they can be very hard to identify at first if they're not obvious. And so places you can have retractions, you can actually have them like in your trachea, like, like pulling like that. You can have them like subclavicular, like in the clavicle area. You can have intercostal retractions, which are like the ribs. You can actually have sternal retractions and you can have subcostal, which is like under the ribs and they're sucking in. And the reason little kids have these retractions is because they're using accessory muscles to help breathe. And they're trying to compensate for like narrowed airways or if there is inflammation or mucus and whatnot. Um, but I'll like put pictures of all this stuff I'm talking about on the screen because I think it helps to be able to see stuff like that. But yeah, so a lot of respiratory kids, um, it is starting to get a little bit warmer. Like today was kind of weird and it hit like the 70s. So kids were outside playing and falling, um, like lacerations, um, injured arms, ankles, knees, that sort of thing. And when you have those kind of injuries, number one lacerations, you want to control the bleeding. Um, and then like injured joints, you want to assess for um, cap refill to make sure that that joint is still getting good distal blood flow. And then you want to assess the nearest pulse. And then you also want to assess like range of motion and stuff like that. But I absolutely love Pete's triage. I'm pretty sure I actually eventually want to be like, I wanna stay an ER nurse. I love critical care, but I think I wanna be like a pediatric specialist. It is definitely a dream of mine to become like a pediatric certified registered nurse or am i saying that right a pediatric certified emergency nurse that certification that's kind of like a dream of mine that i have i don't really talk about my plans a lot just because it kind of makes me nervous because i'm like what if i put something out into the universe like on a video and then i don't achieve it it kind of so but you know what i need to start like putting those big ideas out there because if i really want them then I need to start saying them and I need to start talking about them because this year, you guys, in 2024, I'm going to be a nurse, which is absolutely wild to think about. Like, I'm going to be done with my nursing program. I'm going to be a full-fledged registered nurse by the end of this year. So it's kind of like when you start thinking about like where you want to be in your career, what specialty you want to go into and stuff like that. And you know what? Since we're talking about it, I wasn't going to share this on any of my social medias just because I'm so nervous about not getting the position. But you know what, you guys on my YouTube fam, you're the realist, so I will tell you this secret. No other social media channel is gonna know. I actually applied for a nurse externship. If you're not familiar with what that is, it's while you're still a nursing student, um, you get to work underneath another nurse's license. So you do not have a full scope of a registered nurse. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys. But you get to do stuff like you get to give meds, you get to start IVs. And it's basically like your clinicals on steroids because you're only in one department and you are precepted by one nurse and you do everything with that nurse together. And it just gives you the largest scope of practice you can have without having your nurse's license. And I had a preliminary interview with HR on, um, what day was that? On Monday. And I just got an email that I have been selected for departmental interviews later this month. So you guys keep your fingers crossed. I am so excited and so nervous. I was 
telling Torin, it's been a long time since I've really wanted something. And when I was in undergrad, because if you guys didn't know, nursing is actually going to be my second degree. I already have a bachelor's in biology. When I was in undergrad, I kind of was very lost in the sauce and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And I kind of just got a biology degree because it made sense because I thought I wanted to be like pre-med and I wanted to be a physician, even though like I knew I didn't want to put the work into doing that, if that makes sense, just because the route to go to med school, you guys, is absolutely bananas. Um, but I was just kind of like doing it to say I was doing it, hopefully that makes sense and so I haven't wanted something like academically and career wise in a long time like obviously getting into nursing school like I really wanted that um, but I now that I'm in nursing school like this senior nurse externship is something I want so so bad like just getting the opportunity and the experiences to work underneath another nurse's license while you're still in nursing school and just getting that extra learning experience on top of clinicals, I feel like is invaluable. So this is a message to all my nursing students. Go ahead and look up at hospitals around you if they offer nurse externships because the best part about this, you guys, is paid. This I am getting paid to learn. Like I am absolutely over the moon, so excited for this. But I need to hop in the shower and I will catch up with you guys when I wake up. Tomorrow's Friday. I don't have classes on Friday so I can sleep in as late as I want. Although I do think I'm going to try to wake up at 3.30. That way I can go to the gym and then just get like a little bit of work done before I head on. A little bit of class work, homework, before I head on into work work. Just got back from the gym and I just did a quick 30 minute cardio session. I just walked on the treadmill at an incline, got a good little sweat in, feeling awake. That's the thing, you can still go to the gym while you work night shift. You just definitely have to like adjust your game plan because usually I like to lift, but it's hard to get, for me at least, it's hard to get a good lifting session in for 30 minutes. So I just opt for cardio. I am going to make a quick meal before I hop in the shower. I always like to eat before work. Working night shift, our busiest hours are between 7 p.m. And I would say, well, it's a weekend, so 1 to 2 a.m., um, you can't really count on eating during then, so I like to make sure I go into my shift well fed because there's nothing worse than being busy and you're hungry and you don't have time to eat. I just made a smoothie real quick. I just used some frozen mangoes and protein powder. Love bringing a smoothie to work because it doesn't matter how hectic it is. You always have time to like just drink something really quick and it fills me up. And then I also made some protein overnight oats. In the morning, even though it's like my nighttime because I'm night shift, I still like to eat breakfast food. Um, and then I just like a good crunch. So let's bring a bag of chips. And then I am gonna bring an Alani new. I don't think I'll need it because I've got this charged lemonade from Panera with 400 milligrams of caffeine. I stopped in after the gym and grabbed it because it was on my way home. And then I'll bring a poppy in case I need like a 3 a.m. pick me up. Y'all, I am obsessed with poppies. Oh dear. You guys, I specifically bought this lunchbox because of how big it is. And I managed to fill this puppy up okay we will just throw the chips on the side and then something i like to do oh alexa 
Alexa, turn the music off. Shoot, I totally forgot I had music playing in the background, hopefully. All of that does not get copyright. I will be so upset. I know Taylor Swift's team is on it. Um, I bring my actual silverware from home. I just think it makes eating more enjoyable. I don't like eating with plastic utensils. I'm just weird like that. All right, lunch is packed and ready. All right, right now I'm just putting my work bag together. This is the jacket I wore last night. I usually wear a jacket because like the hospital temperature is so variable. All right, my bag is still pretty much packed from last night. I just need to organize it a little bit because I threw a lot of random stuff in it and was like taking stuff in and out. I have a whole video on what is on my bag. Or what is on my bag? Oh my God, I need to caffeinate. I had no caffeine yet. What is in my bag? If you are curious, that should be everything. I do think I want to switch out my bag buddies though. Got to put on my watch. You don't need an Apple watch or anything. This Garmin watch is so old. You literally just need something that like counts the seconds. Um, so these are all my little badge buddies that I have. What is tonight's vibe? I've been wanting to wear this one. It's from a little small business that sent it to me, but the only thing is I have to like switch everything out. Oh, this one's kind of cute. Just says night shift. That might be, that might be what we do tonight. Oh, this one is so funny, but it's not quite St. Patty's Day yet. Thick thighs, lucky vibes. I think I'll go with this one. Ew, desats. Okay, put that in my bag. Ugh, you guys, these fig pants do not fit me well, but I loved this surgical green color, so I just suck it up. Like, they keep falling down on my hips. I kind of want to wear a vest, and I was thinking I could do pink to match the pink drawstring. What do we think? Is the pink... Okay, I don't know. I really used to like these vests, and now I don't like them. I bought them on Amazon. Or I have my black vest. See, ah, I just like the oversized look so much better. Oh my gosh. Oh, not this one literally having a hole in it. That is so cute. Okay, we're gonna go with the black vest. I need to run out the door. I will see you guys after my shift. You guys, I just got back home from work and I'll give you a recap of the shift after I wake up. Torin got me a card. He got me flowers. That is so sweet. I'm like actually very emotional right now because we had an emotional night at work last night, but I'll tell you about it after I wake up. I need to get in the bed and shower right now. You want to tell the vlog what we did today? Mm, you can tell them. So, Torin was so nice. Here, pull my thing down. I had this bracelet from Anna Luisa. And it didn't fit, and they gave me extra links. Ah, here, hold the camera. And for Valentine's Day, Torin was so sweet, and he had my extra links added. So now I can finally wear this bracelet. But we actually checked out this really cool jewelry store. And we tried on engagement rings. And... We didn't get one. <laughs> we were just trying them on for fun and for me to figure out what we like and for us to have a more serious conversation later down the road. Absolutely no rush, right? Yeah. Did you like it or were you just like, this is overwhelming? I liked it. Okay. But that's all. <laughs> Thanks for joining the vlog today. Anything you want to tell YouTube? Uh, no. All right. So I think the last time I talked to you guys was after I got off work. I slept in till about two today. I just had a really hard time waking up last night at work. I was down in pediatric triage and it was actually a really busy night. Um, our pediatric part of the ER was full as well as the waiting room was full. And so in those moments, 
You just want to make sure you're reassessing and reevaluating patients and whatnot. Um, I did actually have a patient who was about school aged who came in satting 88% on room air. So I went ahead and put them on oxygen. I just did two liters nasal cannula to bring them back up. And then once they were back, and immediately put, brought them back to a room. Um, and then once they were back in the room, they worked on like titrating that patient and figuring out why they were on 88%. Uh, right now it is respiratory season being February. So listening to a lot of lung sounds and on kids, it can be very hard to listen to lung sounds. So I would just recommend if you are a tech or a nursing student, listen to as many patients as possible. And it's you're, you're first, to be honest, like 10 to 30 patients, you're not going to hear a lot. You're going to be like, I don't know what I'm listening to, but just getting the practice and the more times you listen to lung sounds, the easier it is to recognize what's normal and what's abnormal. Um, usually the trick is abnormal lung sounds are way easier to detect and hear than normal lung sounds. That's just the trick I found. I know today I haven't been the best at vlogging, so we woke up, went to the jewelry store, um, did that fun little try on. I actually completely didn't even think about vlogging. I wish I kind of would have taken some videos of some of the rings I liked, but the jewelry store we went to was absolutely amazing and they made like a whole profile for me. So I think later down the road when we're more serious, we will go in with our like budget and we'll actually start like trying stuff on and like really pricing stuff out. Today was more of like, let's just for fun, try stuff on and see what I like sort of introduction. Uh, then we got some lunch then it is our friend's birthday today so we went and picked up their birthday gift and we are going to meet up with them and get drinks so i will take you along for that and then tomorrow is going to be a big big study day sorry i wasn't picking up the camera a lot today but i haven't really done a lot the day after my night shift i do try to keep pretty chill